Hi guys, so today let's see how to execute a library function without even linking linking to the shared library. So suppose you have an executable and there is a shared library and you want to call this functions which is present in the shared library and without even linking like how can we do that one. So let's see that one and prerequisite for this one is like you should have some knowledge about system programming and also you should have some knowledge about function pointers as well and do not skip this uh, video so at the end i'm going to show you like what's the benefit of doing this one and uh, you will really enjoy that one and it's very much valuable for that and let's get started so here you can see so i have uh, created already some of the files so this is a calculator.header file so which is having a add functions which take two integers and return an integer and when i open this one cal calc and this add function simply returns an a plus b and i'm printing some uh, messages here and when i go to the c makes here it is very simple so here you can see i am compiling main.c and uh, let me increase some font so i am compiling this main.c and the output is a dot out similarly i am compiling uh, uh, calc.c and i'm creating a shared library and the shared library name is calc and when i go inside this main so it is like um, i'm taking the library path as a command line argument so that is what this all this text is done so here just i'm printing i'm opening this library now let's see how can we uh, read that library and print the function inside that one so for that one what i'm going to uh, i'm going to use is dl open system uh, call so it is a system call it is not an application level call it's a system call and whenever you do a, that call so the context which will happen it will uh, switch from application uh, uh, mode to a kernel mode so now let's see like let's begin so first thing is dl open you need to open a library we need to open a library and the library name had given as a first argument and the second argument is uh, the something called uh, rld lazy so this is our second argument. The second argument, what it tells is, if I want to call some function, and whenever uh, I'm calling that function, at that time, the symbol is resolved. So that is what it means. So if I use uh, now, so then automatically the all the symbol is resolved even uh, without even calling that function. So that is what it means. So let's forget about all these things. So simply this copy this one and paste it here. So this is that API and what it returns is a handler. So I'll save this one as a P handle. Now let's do some null check. If P handle is fine, then only we are going to do something. Otherwise, let me do something STD out and unable to load the library percentages. And let me give a library name here and next thing what we are going to do is dl close so whenever we open we need to close this one so that is using dl close for this dl close we need to give an argument that is p handle so as of now i am not uh, bothered about the return of this one so let's close this one now the trick comes here so how can we read the symbol from this library so the for that one what we need to do is we need to know the signature of this one so let me copy this one and paste it here and let me comment out so what the next api is dl symbol the first argument is the handle so which we get whenever we do dl open and the second argument is nothing but the name of the function and name of the function is nothing but this one and this is called a symbol label symbol uh, name so the exact name we need to give if we don't give exact name and it is case sensitive it is not going to give some reference for that from that it is nothing but a function pointer so basically it returns a void pointer so for from this void pointer we need to convert to a function pointer so how that function pointer is like let's say i'm type casting this one and i need i'll be saving this one add so now let's return a function pointer for this one so the function pointer is star p add which will take two integers and I need to typecast for the same thing. So let me go inside this one and add it here and remove this one. So now here you can see I have typecasted this. So now we can do some null check p add if add is present. Otherwise I can again print something. So now here what we can do is p add. So let me pass 10 and 20. And here let's save this one result 
result is equal to something like this so now we'll print sum of 10 and 20 is percentage t backslash n result so now everything is ready let's see like how it works and let's do here you can see c make iphone b build and let's do c make build and build so now it is done now in the build folder i have a dot out so i'll execute this one it is telling please provide the library path so my library path is in a build folder itself it is libcalc.so let me enter this one can you see here so it is opening this file opening the shared library then it is calling my function adding 10 and 20 and this 10 and 20 is being printed in our program that is calc so if i go here here you can see adding a and b uh, it is this is what it is getting printed here now so we know like uh, uh, this is what it is done so now let's go into this build folder and let's analyze the executable uh, sorry this shared library when i execute nm lib calc.so here you can see the symbol table is this add so this is what it is uh, been uh, we have used in our uh, dl symbol and even though if i do a strip strip of this libcalc.so and if i execute nm now you can see there is no symbol table here so even though if there is no if even though we have stripped off this one we can we could able to load this library here let's execute this one a dot out and let's give a library so if you do not give a complete path so it is telling unable to load the library because it is not able to find like where we need to find this library it is not like your regular library like where you set ld library path and there it will fits right it's not like that so you need to give the exact path of this one i'll give like this so now here you can see so it has been the library has been loaded and it is calling a library function and we are getting the exact result whatever we have expected now this is all fine let's uh, go here and uh, what we can do is so even like uh, we, we can call the function which is present here what if we want to call a function which is present in our main as a callback function so now let's see how can we do that one for this one it needs some little uh, knowledge about a function pointer so let's go and uh, look into that one so what i'll do is let me create some function called register so register and it takes some function pointer so where we want to register the function so that function pointer can be uh, a void pointer and it can return and to integer let's make it like this and let's create one more function called fire event fire event now these are the two functions addition function we added i have added here so let me go into this calci and let's add a definition for this one so what this fire event does is before this one let's save this function pointer so i'll create some variable for this one let's say g underscore p event handler and let me make this one a static so it is present inside this one g underscore p event handler is equal to i need to give some name for this one for this one let's give event handler event handler so this is what the function pointers which anybody can register for me so now in uh, fire event let's do something like this for uh, let's say int i is equal to zero i is equal to zero i is less than 10 and i plus plus now we started printing this one instead of printing here like we'll call the function pointer so g underscore p handler is present otherwise f printf okay so then we'll call g underscore p event handler will pass as an index first one is index maybe second one let's pass i plus one so since it is taking two integer right so that is what all this uh, fire event does so now let's go back to my main.c here instead of calling this add let me remove this part and let's register my function so if i want to if you see this one calculator so this is the two function i want to call from main so let me go here and copy paste and comment out here 
so this function needs some function pointer right so let me create a function here so let's let's call this one as a event handler and i need to remove this braces yeah now here what we can do is like simply we can print f print and this function is going to be called from our library so how to make that one so what we have to do is a similar thing dl symbol and what is the function name i want to register that function name is register before that one i need to give a handle i need to give register this is my function and i need to typecast to this one right first thing is i need to create a function pointer for this one let me create a function pointer so let me do like this star p register end so then i need to typecast this one and once after a typecast i need to save this one so how can i typecast to this one simply you copy this one and you remove this one so this is what the function pointer of a register looks like so i'll do p register if p register is present let me register my event handler i call my event handler so this one for a uh, new people who are into c plus c programming it may be find the uh, a little hard to figure out what exactly it is it is like a function pointer which is taking one more function pointer so that is what it means and now i call this register let me fire an event for this one so how to fire an event so here this is what the prototype is let me copy this one and create one more function pointer i can call this one as star p fire event even you can use a type def if you are uh, getting confused so that is also possible so i'll do dl symbol and what is the function name i want to call that is this fire pointer fire event and the first argument is p handle enter so i need to type cast to this one later we'll do and p fire event and for this one i need to do a type cast let me copy here and remove this one so this is the simplest way to do understand a function pointer so if this p p fire event is exist so then i can do fire event i can call the event now if if it does not exist let me do our defense programming similarly for this one as well we'll do else unable to find the symbol register now it's all looks fine let me go and compile and run i'll go to here build build so it is telling something warning pass argument one of it for etf incompatible sorry here i forgot to give std out std out now let me compile again yeah now everything looks fine let me execute get that out and for this one i need to give a library execute so can you see here i call this library and for that library i have registered my function that is my event handler here you can see these are all the things which is calling my function which is present inside a main so if you are getting confused let me do something like f print f let me build and let me execute can you see here the event handler is called this event handler is called from that library so like this even you can register your own function if there is a function pointer or a callback function which is present in this library without even being linking now you know how to uh, call this library function without even be even without even being linking the library now the next question is what is the use of that one so for that one let's see like what is the use of that one here you can see i have a core logic which is in c uh, library which is a shared library and uh, this is what the library which a dl symbol or dl open which is being used so this is the library which is uh, which help for the c program to do dl open so all this dl open dl sim all those things are present in this dl library so our c library is using this dl library this is system library and which is uh, used to call this function which is present in the shared library so now one advantage is you write your c library here and which internally call this library and you use this library for your program specific server so you can write your server and you can write your client 
and that client can communicate to this library and it can be that job can be done so but what is the advantages of this one the advantage of this one is whenever another programming language comes in so even c++ can do the same thing and even python can do this one so python can call this c types this c type is a library which is present in this python internally the c type uses dl to call this shared library so if you go to the c types if you go to the c types if you zoom in i'll zoom in this is a c type library documentation here you can see otherwise the underlying platform dl open or a load library function is used so this dl open is nothing but a library for a linux specific and a load library is a windows specific which is kind of a dl open in a windows so now we'll concentrate only on the dl open on the linux side so here you can see even python program can call your c uh, shared library what is the advantages of this one is so you write your core logic in the c library and you can expose this one to a multiple different languages let's say tomorrow java comes so there is something called jni so jni can call the c libraries and c library can invoke this one and some core logics can be executed suppose you are building some machine and you want to support multiple programming languages so in order to achieve that one what you can do is you can use this dl symbol you write all your core logic in c library and expose like this one so then you can support n number of programming languages so rather than writing this logic in each different programming language you can write uh, like this and you can make use of this architecture and here you can see you can use any protocol whether it's a tcp udp grpc whatever it may be wsdl so any protocol you can use so this entire things is abstracted from this one this is entirely abstracted so this is how uh, the main advantages of using this dl open this is how internally a library has been loaded so i think this is like uh, this is a very much valuable information so yeah that's it for uh, now hope you like this video if you like this video please share and subscribe